And this is Phil Lilly, Lilly's Landing Resort and Marina on Lake Taney Como. I'm gonna do one cast today. It is Friday. It's good Friday. The 19th of April. And they're still running two units. It's been really windy today. Came out here this evening. The wind's still blowing, but it's kind of blowing over my head, so not too bad right now. I am just above the resort again. 30 second outs. Sculpin jig with a brown head, two pound line. And I'm gonna try to catch a fish on the first cast. I did fish a little bit this morning, but the wind was just a tad tough and yeah, they just weren't biting me. Oh. It's a little one, but it's fish. I'll adjust my trolling motor real quick. Matty, your good luck. Cool. Guys, you're still catching fish down in the creeks. Um, and that's about one of the only places they could get out of the wind is in the creeks. I, I didn't hear if, the, if it was crowded in the creeks, I would think so, but uh, we had quite a few fish come in and was cleaned. Steve Dickey said he had to resort to the, to the creeks. I think he was up in Rourke Creek. Tomorrow's supposed to be a much nicer day. It just did never got warm today. I couldn't get warm. That wind just, although it got up to about 60, it's supposed to be in the 70s tomorrow. With a lot less wind. So we're gonna try to get the grandkids out fishing tomorrow. Went mushroom hunting this evening. I am just not very good at that. So we didn't find any. I need to get a little closer to the bank. I'm not real sure how I got out here. I've walked this bank here and found mushrooms before, but we didn't go there. We went to, this, to the top of the hill to the public area by Cooper Creek Ramp. Had some guys go up by boat, and um, I guess they were fishing in and just above uh, Outlet One, and they came back with a couple of nice walleye. Caught them on sculpin color jigs. Frank made an appearance this morning and drew a crowd, had a Jimmy's family uh, is all here. They came down and looked at him and then we dropped the GoPro down and he didn't flinch a bit. Getting a lot of leaves and pollen and stuff on the surface so it's a little hard to work a jig through all of it. I'm a little surprised they didn't catch more fish. But I got the one first cast.
I've um, let me see. Sorry. Um, most of you know Jimmy Cummings, my son-in-law. He is my um, kind of a general manager of the resort. Married my daughter Megan, and they have three kids. Taking myself out a little bit further. Um, Jimmy's dad passed away last Thursday, on the or last Friday. I'm sorry, on, on the 12th of April, he um, died of a massive heart attack. He was uh, an awesome guy. Um, uh, you can't you can't say enough good things about him he loved Jesus he loved his family um, the Lord in a lot of our opinions um, the Lord gave him six more years uh, six years ago he had a um, an aorta tear lived in St. Louis he drove himself to the hospital, and those that are familiar with, with heart issues, that's, I think they call that the Widowmaker. And he survived 10 hours of surgery and um, had to walk, learn how to walk and talk again. It was a walking miracle, and um, he and his wife, Kathy moved down here to be closer to Jimmy and Megan, and uh, he worked at Sight and Sound, and Kathy works at Lowe's. And uh, his heart was damaged really, really bad in the first attack, so uh, his second episode was immediately fatal, and and I'm they've even said and I've said that you know if you if when you die that that's a that awesome way to go uh, it was like somebody flipped a switch and he was standing in the presence of Jesus um, so his family is here they had a service yesterday it was an awesome service uh, Jimmy spoke and I'm hoping it was recorded because it was tremendous and um, I can't say enough about their family Kathy uh, Jimmy uh, Jimmy has six siblings and um, it's been a it's been a joy having them here at the resort it's a great family so, um, yeah, they've been grieving. It's a tough loss. But at the same time, they celebrated Jim's life and, and celebrated the fact that uh, we all are only separated for a short time. And God blessed me with a tremendous son-in-law and um, I'm sure glad he works for us and I'm sure a lot of people that that stay with us or would agree uh, we're very blessed to have him well um, we might post a, uh, a GoFundMe account for Kathy. Um, I know that they've been blessed by people's generosity, and it's no, of course, no pressure at all on our part. But if if you feel that, if you knew Jim, he was down at the resort a lot. He he loved to fish. Um, I I know that he even took some of our guests fishing. Um, love the St. Louis Cardinals too.
So if you want to give a little bit to the family, that would be awesome. Um, I was blessed with one fish. And um, I think I know why. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.